Republican candidates had their knives out and sharpened during the second primary debate, and Vivek Ramaswamy got the worst of it. In these next two clips, you're going to see him bombarded with criticism about his business dealings in China, as well as using the Chinese social media app TikTok. When we have a conversation about the things that are happening on this stage, we think about the fact that Vivek just said we were all good people. And I appreciate that because last debate, he said we were all bought and paid for. And I thought about that for a little while and said, you know, I can't imagine how you can say that knowing that you were just in business with the Chinese Communist Party and the same people that funded Hunter Biden, millions of dollars, was a partner this of yours as nonsense. well. It's not nonsense. So look, you, you, you know, I, 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 I want to respond. These, these are good people who are tainted by a broken system. And it's not the fault I, I of anybody who's involved. Some of us are tainted. Excuse me. Line when you say excuse me. Paper. Thank you for speaking while I'm interrupted. Literally. While I'm speaking. Well, literally. No, you said by the people. If I may finish. You'll have your turn. You can't be on both sides. Gentlemen, you'll have your turn. One of the challenges we should have. We should have a debate between the big and the Business in China. If I may, Everybody knows that. If I may, if Let's I may focus address, on holding Joe Biden. I, need to be I actually on. agree with Ron DeSantis. Speak at the same time. I, no one can understand. If I may, I agree with Ron DeSantis on China. When every other CEO expanded into the Chinese market, you know what I did with my first company? We opened a subsidiary in China. But you know what I did that was different than every other company? We got the hell out of there. And when I started my yeah, next right company, you ran Strive, right when, no, that's years ago. right when I started my next company, Strive, to compete against it's BlackRock, excuse me, no, no. to compete against it's BlackRock, I made a commitment that we would never do business in China. And I will say something. Say yes. I think you have more than time to explain yeah. your point. Well, if I, I was interrupted by a lot of people here, and I want to be respectful because I yeah. believe these you were are good respectful people, last a bit. but I do not yeah. believe in these. We're sitting here in the Reagan Library. Yes, guys. I wish you would. In the honor of Ronald Reagan's library, if I may, well, from one I, Tim, listen, from one admirer hey, listen, of Ronald all, Reagan all to another, you, from you. one admirer of Reagan to another, Did we cannot do deals see with the Chinese people. This isn't productive. I want to hear I Let's have a policy debate. What's going on? I'll, I'll Let us have a policy debate. Let's 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 have a should the commander in chief be so easily persuaded by an influencer? So the answer is I have a radical idea for the Republican Party. We need to win elections. And part of how we win elections is reaching the next generation of young Americans where they are. So when I get into office, I've been very clear. Kids under the age of social, under the age of 16, should not be using addictive social media. We're only going to ever get to declaring independence from China, which I favor, if we actually win. So while the Democrats are running rampant, reaching the next generation three to one, there's exactly one person in the Republican Party which talks a big game about reaching young people, and that's me. And let me level with all of you. I'm the new guy here, and so I know I have to earn your trust. What do you see? You see a young man who's in a bit of a hurry, maybe a little ambitious. Used car salesman. I know it all, it seems, at times. I'm here to tell you, no, I don't know it all. I will listen. I will have the best people, the best and brightest in this country, whatever age they are, advising me. We will be probably many of the people on this stage included. That's how I built my companies. I want to be challenged. I want people who disagree with me. That's what makes America great because we're not a perfect TikTok nation. We're founded the on the Chinese pursuit Congress of perfection. Party, that is what makes America great. And that is why we will end it once we win this election. He's like, I'm happy to exploit these young people for their vote and then immediately take away their platform when I win. This is infuriating because TikTok <laughs> is one of the most dangerous social yeah. media apps yes, that is. we could have. And what you've got, I honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say <laughs> because I can't believe you know, they hear you've Haley, got a may. TikTok situation. What they're doing is these 150 million people are on TikTok. <laughs> that means they can get your contacts, they can get your financial information, they can get your emails, they can Let get just text say, messages, they can get all of these important. things. This 
this is very important for our party. This is very important for our party, and I'm going to say it. And what we've seen is you've gone and you've helped China build make medicines in China, not America. You are now wanting kids to go and get on the social media that's dangerous for all of us. You went and you were in business with the Chinese that gave Hunter Biden five million dollars. We can't trust you. We can't trust you. We can't have TikTok in our kids' lives. We need to ban it. Mr. Ramaswamy, you have 15 seconds. I think. Excuse me. You have 15 Ramaswamy. Thank you. I think we would be better served as a Republican Party if we're not sitting here hurling personal insults and actually have a legitimate debate I, I, about policy following Reagan's say, 11th Commandment in his honor. Ago. And the answer is, that is what actually makes our country strong. And I believe, I believe in these people, these are good people on the stage, they disagree, but let's have a legitimate disagreement. That's what I would say. There's so much to unpack here. You have uh, Vivek and his Freudian slip saying, thank you for speaking while I'm interrupting. It was kind of a very, very quick little slip there, but that's what he said before he corrected himself. And then you have Ron DeSantis looking very pleased uh, with the other candidates attacking Vivek Ramaswamy, but then throughout the evening and in his post-interview, uh, post-debate interview with Sean Hannity, you had him saying that he just wanted to take the high ground and he he wants everyone to just talk about their policies and, and how they want to move the country forward. Uh, he's just completely full of it. Ron DeSantis loved Vivek Ramaswamy getting attacked here. Now, those clips were kind of, you know, indicative of how the entire night went, how the entire Republican Party exists. It was a complete clown show. People talking over one another, talking over the moderators. There were moments there where nobody had any idea what was going on. And then you have Ramazwamy using TikTok and partnering with Logan Paul, who is the scum of the earth. Partnering with him to try to appeal to young voters who Ramaswamy says that he wants to take away their vote. He wants to raise the minimum age of voting from 18 to 25, meaning that a lot of the people who he's trying to influence into voting for him wouldn't be able to vote for him after he got into office. That's it. The, the insanity of this guy is just, it's very amusing. It's very entertaining. And then you also had Nikki Haley there somehow bringing back Ramaswamy on TikTok, bringing it all the way back around to Hunter Biden, which is just the mental gymnastics Nikki Haley is going through to try to raise herself in the polls. Again, amusing because she's got a big old nose and, and colorful hair because she's a clown. They're all clowns.